commiserations on the uh, on the actual decision. Andrew, it was a great fight. Uh, you can still, still tell you you're a bit upset over this decision. I mean, you felt like you did more than enough to win this fight. Absolutely. I feel like I won, at worst, 10 rounds to two. I felt in total, total control. Like, I honestly could have picked it up if I needed to, but I thought I'm doing what I need to do to win. I'm outboxing him with ease, really. And I get, as I said in there, like I went into this fight with a torn bicep and I can throw the jab perfectly. That's why I boxed behind the jab pretty much 90% of the fight. But I knew that if I needed to dig deep, I could throw it as a rip and a hook. But I didn't really need to. I felt like it, what I was doing was working. I was going home as champion. There's no need to cause any further damage. And when one judge squatted him, I, I was like, come on, like, all right, that's, that's, it can't get any worse than that. Surely the other two have got it to me wide. And I, there's no explanation other than it's corruption. It's, it's a load of shit. Like, no qualified judge could see him winning that fight. A lot of experts and a lot of people out there had you winning this fight. Uh, and obviously, again, you're upset. You had some comments in the ring about, you know, this is your last fight. Again, we just had Pedro in here. He's happy to take the rematch. So is there something that, I know it's fresh, but is there something that you would reconsider? Because it seems like you've just got so much more to give in a fight that you, that a lot of people think you should be holding the title right now. Yeah, it's, it's definitely something that I'll think about. It's, it's hard at the moment. It's the second time I've been ripped off for a world title. And I give my my life to this one, everything. I can't give any more than I already do. And twice they've just ripped it from me. Like, it's fucking heartbreaking. And like, maybe the immediate rematch, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll look at it, because I know with two arms I'll knock him out, like, no problem. But I, I don't know how long I'm gonna be out getting surgery on this bicep for, and, and they just keep, they just keep fucking doing this to me in this sport. Like, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't, what do you think the judges, two of the judges, saw that gave, saw them to give him the decision? I mean, what, 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 what did it, was he doing in the ring? Was it the body shots, or what was it that you think that they saw in uh, they his saw his way action? Get slipped under the fucking table. That's what they saw. No way you fucking won that fight. Why do you think they wanted him to win, mate? Corruption. He's Mexican. How hard was it in the lead up? Because this was the first fight that you were, weren't able to be in your brother's corner earlier in the week. Uh, how hard was that, that build up? I mean, you were hungry to get this one back for, for Team Maloney. So th this must sting a little bit more as well. It's the best build up I've, I've ever had. I, personally, yeah, I would have loved to be in there for Jason, but personally, apart from tearing my bicep a week ago, it was the best build up I've, I've ever had. And I felt like this camp, I went to a whole new level boxing beautifully every sparring session. Felt fresh, felt great in this fight. Everything we felt like it clicked this camp. But oh, how much more can I keep giving this sport? And it keeps just fucking me like that. How much did that Franco one take from you, mate? A lot. It, it, I should have been, that should have been my third world title tonight. You know, and what people don't realise is it's not just, oh, you could have been a world champion, it's changing my family's future. It's financially changes your life winning a world title. And then each time, like, yeah, they go home, like, no one else, it doesn't matter to them, the judges. They give it to him, but it changes my life. I go back to fighting for peanuts on a small hall show and struggling to get by for four years to get back to this point, and they do it again. I'm 33, how can I, I can't keep doing this to me and to my family financially for these people just to fuck me over. Is yeah. there a chance you'd go down a different sanctioning body? It happened in the WBA, it happened in the WBC, it's, yeah. it's boxing. Yeah. It's not the... It's not the... It's boxing. It's not the sanctioning bodies, and I don't want to be already getting in trouble for what I've already said, but it's boxing. You see it week in, week out. It's not just me, it's it's all over the sport. It's riddled with it. Well, it's something for you to consider. You said that you, again, 
Hell going back to uh, do the small time shows again. It sounds it sounds like there's a rematch there for you. So it's obviously a, a matter of uh, rethinking, getting healed up, and, and maybe getting it back. Yeah, look, it's fresh right now. Um, I'll think about it. Take some time. I'll see what needs to happen with this arm. Um, but yeah, yeah look, it wasn't I, just in I your feel mind like I'm though, was it? We're very right now, so mm. uh, I don't know. It's, I'll think about it. Uh, I'm not ruling out the the, um, the rematch. Look, let's keep that on the table because I might wake up tomorrow and say, yeah, yeah. I can bring it on. But um, yeah, we'll, it's we'll consider that. You've got one of the best corners and the best trainers in the world. So what, what were they telling you in between corners is that you were in control of this fight, that you... Keep doing what you're doing. You're in total control. You're giving him a boxing lesson. He had slow feet. I was turning him. I was walking him on the shots. And as I said, I, I could have picked it up if I needed to, but I was in total control. I, there's no way anyone could see him winning that fight. I, I just, I've got nothing to say. I don't know, I don't know what they're watching. Do you feel like he boxed that round thinking he had that last round thinking he had to knock you out? He boxed the last five rounds thinking he had to knock me out. He knew he, was, he wasn't winning that fight. There's no way he thought he won that. If, if this is your fight, that uh, last fight, how do you sort of look back on your career with everything that's happened, but everything you've achieved as well, like overall? Um, I've had to, yeah. I've, I've had a, a good career that could have been a great career without corruption. Well, Australia is very proud of you. So uh, again, we're hoping that you heal up and we, we had, as boxing fans, hoping that we see you in the ring and hopefully in a rematch uh, against Pedro Rivera and uh, you can get it back, but all the best. Thank you. Thank you, guys. All the best, brother.